today's notes. So where it says homework on the back. Um, this is it. Um, okay, so what is the coordinate for the starting point? So what tells you you need to answer that is the coordinate. Coordinate R for the starting point. Okay, starting point. Well, here's the starting point. The bottom right there. The coordinate is 0, 0, as you can see. So you write the coordinate We need to get him a basketball court, honey. For for the no, it's too expensive. The coordinate for the the starting point is zero zero. What what tells you need to answer that? Does it mean? Okay, let's look. Um, what does it mean? It has no title. Number of tickets for cost. Okay, so zero number of tickets uh, cost zero dollar. Okay, what that's what it means. This means zero tickets. For zero dollars. Makes sense. You didn't buy any ticket. Zero tickets and zero dollar. Okay. What does point D represent? Oh, I forgot to label these before I co made copies. So A, B, C, D. Here's D. D is eight, four. What does D represent? D is 8, 4, which represent which represents 8 tickets for four dollars. It's very important you see that. Eight tickets for four dollars. Eight tickets for four dollars. Okay, determine the rate of change. Okay, rate of change, remember, it's rise over run. All right. So you take two points, any points you like. I'm going to take point C to D. Okay, C is 6, 3, and 8, 4. Okay, so you rise from there to there. From 3, notice it's this 3, to 4, right here, notice it's this 4. So, from 3 to 4, and from um, from there, from this spot, to this spot, six to eight you see that six to eight from these numbers right here same numbers so six to eight let's just write a dash okay six to eight notice that these are your y's the bottom are your x so that you have um, the rate of change is negative 1 over negative 2 or just 1 over 2. P 
positive because two negative is a positive. Explain. So we determine. Determine is one of the words we need to do. The rate of change. Explain what it means. I'm assuming explain what the rate of change means. Okay, three to four. Three dollars to four dollars. So three to four are dollars of change of one dollar. Six to eight, and it's six tickets, remember, to eight tickets. These are tickets. This is tickets. Therefore, it means one dollar for two tickets. Okay, so it costs one dollar. One dollar for two tickets. Okay, next graph. Where does the coordinate start? Okay, the coordinate, what is the coordinate starting point? Okay. Oh. Here's the, remember if you write your name, you can know that the starting point is right there. You see it? And you can see where your name start is where the starting point is. So, the coordinate for the starting point is right here. So that coordinate is zero twenty four. You write the coordinate for the starting point is zero. Twenty-four, which means zero, zero weeks, twenty-four, zero is the week, twenty-four is the pound, it weighed twenty-four pound. means zero week it weighs twenty four pounds okay Oh, I meant to put B here instead of D, so, so sorry for all of you who are confused. So this is A, this is B, here's point B, okay? It represents 4, 18, which represents, represents is what it means. Some of you confuse that, okay. Four eight eighteen represents four weeks. It's down to eighteen pounds. it will be at 18 pounds. Okay, determine the rate of change. Well, let's see, the rate of change, let's do from A to B. B is what we say, 418, 418. Okay, so the rate of change is rise over run or fall in this case. 
So from here it was up there and it went down to 18. So 24 to 18. Notice 24 to 18. 24 to 18 over the time which is 0 to 4. Negative, oh that's positive, 24 minus 18 is 6. 6 over negative 4, 0 minus 4 is negative 4. That gives you 3 over 2 negative. Okay? That means, what does it mean? First of all, it's the weight is coming down. Okay. 18 and 24 are pounds. So this is 3 pounds for every 2 weeks. means it's losing it's losing we don't know what it is it's losing three pounds for every two weeks Okay, it's losing three pounds every two weeks. What are the coordinates of starting point? What does it mean? Okay, all right, let's see. It's the starting, if you write your name, remember, this is the starting point. It's 0, 45, that's the coordinate. The coordinate, the coordinate, for the starting point is zero which means Now I need to look what it means. Okay, the zero here means times in seconds, zero seconds. It's at 45 meters. Means at zero seconds. He's at 45 meters. Label a coordinate on the graph that does not require a decimal. So we want to label a coordinate on the graph that does not require a decimal. So, hmm. I'll choose 235. That's good. They're both no decimal in there. So 235. That's our coordinate. Okay. Okay. What is the rate of change? Okay, let's do rate of change. Well, let's see. It went from 45 down to 35. Notice 45 to 35. 45 minus 35. And then 0 to 2. Okay, remember it should be your Y and your X here. So this is 10 over 
negative 2 or 5 over negative 1. So it's coming down. This is negative. It's coming down. And the graph you notice is going down. Coming down 5 meters. This is meters here. The y is meters. Okay, so it means five um, meters for every second. So it this means five meters for every Second. Okay.